back with a new series for everyone. I'm still going to be doing the uh, Steam games under $5. Uh, and that'll hit you every Saturday with a new video. Uh, you can check out my channel for more details. Uh, I'm also going to be starting a new series uh, about the Humble Choice. Uh, the Humble Bundle offers the Humble Choice, which is a PC game subscription that lets you choose games every month to keep forever. They give you the choice between $200 worth of games. You can keep up nine games and it supports charity. Really, really good stuff, really fun. Uh, you can either, uh, the greatest thing is that, let's say uh, out of the nine games that you choose, you already have a couple. Well, that's fine because you can gift them to your friends. Uh, and you know, create a, a a giftable link so that way you can you can give it to your friends. I think it's really cool. And uh, every month the selection of games changes. And this month, uh, one of the games that I selected out of the the nine was Shopkeep Two. That's a very uh, different game from what I'm used to playing. But I thought it'd be kind of neat to let you guys see what uh, is, is offered on the Humble Choice from hum Humble Bumble. Humble Bumble <laughs> Bundle. <laughs> it's, it's easy to do, but not hard to say. Or not, not easy to say. But let's get started. Uh, gonna create a new character. Be a male. I'll name him Jaegerology. All right, we start off with hair color. Green's fine. That's fine. Eye color. We'll make eye color. There. Skin color's fine. Order chest. Oh, okay. Let's see. What do I want to pick? Hmm. Well, this thing looks middle, so I'll, I'll pick it. All right, and oh, apparently you can unlock more options by playing, probably. All right, well, I have a star tattoo. Okay. And a unibrow. <laughs> All right, well, I guess that'll be my hair. Uh, no scars, yep, eyebrows. We'll, uh, we'll take the one without the unibrow. And the facial hair will be... Look really happy to be here. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine. He doesn't know what kind of pain he's in for. <laughs> um. Oh, jeez. Oh, nope. <laughs> you can select what kind of. Oh, yeah. hell no! There you go. <laughs> Some cosmic underwear. Um. I don't really care about the rest of this stuff. This is fine. All right, so we'll save and go back. And let's start the game. Oh, this game is I'm gonna select my business. Uh Oh. Okay, I can actually select my business. That's kind of neat. Uh, this game is... Uh, let's see here. So I, you play as a trusty merchant tasked with selling armor, cloth, clothes, food, potions, weapons to warriors and rogues it's an open open world fantasy business management game 
It's inspired by the NPCs we know and love from classic RPG and MP MMOs. I embark on an entrepreneurial pursuit, either in single player or with two to four players online. So, all right, this is a multiplayer game. That's kind of neat. All right, so we will. Um, I'm sure it's a random button. That'd be kind of. So we'll go through and. That's interesting. <laughs> uh, we'll go with potions. Potions and our shield will be like there. And the backdrop's going to be nothing. Uh, let's go with Jaegers. Drinkables and more. Oh, well, okay. So let's go with <laughs> Jaeger's crap. Buy my crap. All right. So I already played through the tutorial. Um, and I didn't record it because I thought it was kind of, it's kind of boring. It's just, it, it was kind of going over the stuff that, you know, you, you pretty much already know, like how to move and, and how to click on stuff and whatnot. Um, hey, look, it's my, I can't grind that item. All right. How about you, Father Edouard? Let your soul be blessed. Uh, let's let's talk. Um, all right, try selling some items. This customers will interact with them. Let's accept that quest. Oh. Oh, wow, that's kind of neat. It's got a little backstory to uh, Father Edouard. When he was just... No. When he was just an initiate in the church, Edward made a Faustian deal to quickly move up into the priesthood. After joining the high ranks, Father Edward was burdened with the secret of his success and told his superiors what he did. Angered, they exiled him to this... Oh, great. So this is it's obviously a great place to be. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> uh, to this island in the outer reaches of Custerania where he can work his way back into the service while he is here he has done research on legendary Githrails and the mystic properties of the magic forces of Remnant Lands including what brings the skeletons back to life during his research Father Edward has developed the ability to revive local shopkeepers when they fall past death oh okay so this is apparently where you're gonna you're gonna revive right here when you if you die. Oh, interact with the trash can. I found some money. Heck yeah, I found ninety-eight. Mm. <laughs> Whatever money that is, it's actually all fine. Hmm. Oh, it's Sir Washington. I'm back and I want more gold. <laughs> wow. All right. Holy cow. Well, we don't need that tutorial crap. Skill fence. Uh, we're not going to worry about that. All right, quest with the purchase pedal from the furniture vendor in town. Purchase two of them. Purchase a table from the furniture vendor. Unlock the sprint skill. And sell items to customers by interacting with them. Alright, my movement is increased. Ooh. Okay. 
All right, well, we'll worry about that later. What is this? Oz oh, the journal. If you talk to Gil, I should talk to my accountant. Just find out. All right, well, I guess I'll talk to Gil. Um, uh, 398, so we'll not worry about that. Tax control. Whoa. Ooh. Alright, what does this do? Collect tax pays for ton upgrades. You can adjust how much percent tax each item you're willing to pay. Minimum tax is five per sale. Tax accumulates and will be paid manually. Well will have to be paid manually. Collected tax increases ton funds and is required for town upgrades. Uh going Going over a certain tax threshold will force the shop to be closed until days. Oh, okay. So we don't want to go into that. All right, we have done absolutely nothing. But I got the hammer. So, if I remember correctly, this is my shop. It is empty. And let's bring up the map here. All right, there's my shop. There's the hub. There's the cook. There's the furniture vendor. So we have to go to that to buy some stuff. Uh, oh, you can unlock skills in your global school. Press Q. All right. Uh, zero movement points. Yes. Good. 50 mmm <laughs> mm. <laughs> all right well uh, what oh my god they're coming after me oh my no! god <laughs> all right let's go to the furniture vendor all right we have to purchase two pedestals uh Dropping is for jokers. <laughs> Got any new stock? My stock may seem limited, but remember, as the town is upgraded, I will have more to sell. Come back later. Okay. Well. Um. Uh. Okay. It did. Oh, darn me. All right. Have to purchase two pedestals. So one. Two and a table. Where is the? That is a tiny table. Hopefully, it's bigger in real life. All right. Ooh. Three hundred ninety-nine for that chair. Hey, it's Steve Taylor. Hello. All right, place the displays in the shop. And here's the shop. Um, so we'll put the table um, right in the back here. One table. And We'll place the pedestals one right there and one right there. We have to order a water bottle, wooden shoes, and a poor shirt. All right. So um, do, do, do. Did that, did that. Order from the scroll. Can't make money without spending money. Do order some items. Purchase an item from an NPC. All right, we gotta, gotta find some, some NPCs to buy stuff from. Me, me. Holy cow, I'm fast. <laughs> Holy crap. <laughs> Uh, hello. 
I have not made my mind. <laughs> I've not made my mind about your shop yet. Okay. Well. Cool. I think. Goodbye. All right. Well. Goodbye. Can I go into people's houses? I cannot. So I can't acquire stuff in the uh, less than honorable fashion. Well, hello. Well, hello. All right. Well, goodbye. You don't, goodbye. Hello, Mike. All right. Well, you don't have anything either. Okay. Come on. You guys are freaking useless. Goodbye. Okay, he just poofed away. Fantastic. Yeah. Okay, but <laughs> okay, goodbye. Hello. Goodbye. <laughs> goodbye. Goodbye. All right, goodbye. Bye. Have a wonderful time. Bye, container. Ooh. Uh, no, I don't want to go hunting it. Well, good day. Good day. Goodbye. New rivals. Oh. Ah, I didn't get anything. Dang it. <laughs> Come on. I'm going to keep looking through the garbage to find stuff. Alright, well. I couldn't find anyone that had any kind of... Uh... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. Ooh. Okay, well. There's the map. Can we cook? Alchemist. Alright, so. Now I need to order a shirt. I need to order a bottle. What were the other things here? Well, water bottle, wooden shoes, and a poor shirt. Whoa! <laughs> Apparently that's how I do that. Oh, well, I have to remember that. I'm sure that will come in handy. All right, uh, poor shirt. And where's the shoes? Wooden shoes. All right, let us. What's the difference between order? All right, we have ordered it. All right, well that's a good enough time to stop as any. I just ordered the stuff, and uh, if you like what you saw, hit that little like button down below. Subscribe if you haven't already. Leave a comment and let me know what you guys think about the game. And let me know if you want to see more of it. Uh, yeah, thank you for watching and have a nice day.